What's going on Imperials, it's Emperor Cubone here. Sometimes your run-of-the-mill Pokémon will get a substantial boost by getting its very own signature ability. Even if it's not the most useful thing out there, it makes it all the more special when only one Pokémon can access it. However, sometimes these abilities seem almost too good to hoard on a single monster, or it just makes too much sense not to share it with others, and the signature entries get spread out. So what about the rest of these great abilities? Let's go through some of these signature abilities and show which Pokémon would be most likely to get them added to their stable. Now, just by nature of the list, most of these signature abilities will be from newer generations, since most of these signatures in games past have already spread out over the years. So honestly, this will likely just be a matter of time for a number of these, but let's get started with Tangling Hair. This is the signature ability of the Alolan Dug Trio line, which makes sense as they are pretty defined by their luscious locks. However, come on guys, you're really just gonna pass over Tangela like that? I mean, it's right there in the name. I don't care that it's not actually hair because surely these vines are tangled enough to count for the same effect of slowing the target down on contact. I mean, a Tangrowth snagging your foot would bring you to a pretty quick halt. Sometimes abilities just don't suit anyone else, like Surge Surfer, and that's fine. I'm not gonna force anything, but other times abilities see wider distribution revoked. One such example being with Mega Evolutions. Since these forms are now inaccessible in the most recent games, it means abilities such as Mega Launcher are now only available on the Clauncher line. To me, it would make sense if this ability were on, say, Alolan Golem or even Octillery due to their weapon-related origins. As for whether or not they have enough moves to effectively utilize this ability is a different story entirely. An ability that was signature is Filter, but then Mega Agron came along to add it to its already ridiculous defense, but now that it's gone, Filter goes back to being exclusive to the Mime family. However, getting a 25% reduction on incoming super effective attacks is too good not to use elsewhere. The main problem most people seem to have is the name, since it doesn't lend to many Pokémon offhand, but I do think that it could work on some fragile bug types. Not only would it be most welcome for, say, a Yanma instead of having Frisk, but I would find it just as believable to have as the weird mime Pokémon getting it. Maybe even some Ice-type lightweights too, just to maximize the usefulness of this great ability. There are other obvious ones from naming conventions alone, such as Gorilla Tactics. Currently, it's only on the Galarian form of Darmanitan, but it really needs to be on Rillaboom. Maybe they thought it would be too powerful to have on a starter, but have you seen Greninja? I could see it on other Primate Pokémon, but the one that shares in the Gorilla name should at least be on the table. Another one that could be done based on the name alone is Neutralizing Gas. Not many other Pokémon besides the Weezing line are so heavily tied to gases, except for Ghastly. And the rest of its line to an extent as well, but Ghastly is literally made of gases, so it would just fit perfectly. One of the more interesting but obscure newer abilities to me is Triage, which grants priority to healing moves. This even includes attacks such as Leech Life or Drain Punch. However, right now, the Pokémon that gets Triage is Comfey. And while that is quite fitting, there are other Pokémon that would come to mind when thinking about healing. Namely, Audino and the Chansey line. You know, those other Pokémon that are famous for working with Nurse Joy? If anyone were to be quick with the healing, it would be the professionals. Although it would be interesting to also apply it to a Pokémon that could utilize it in a more offensive playstyle, just to see how that would impact the game. I would say another of this category is Dancer. Oricorio does a great job with all of its many forms, but there are other dance-related Pokémon out there just waiting for their big break. Surely a Belossum or either version of Lilligant would be acceptable candidates for Dancer, and it's not even like the Flower Gift ability that has it specifically tied to the form changes of Oricorio. So any Pokémon with fancy feet could two-step in double time by repeating any dance moves used on the field. You gotta admit, it'd be pretty funny to have one of these grass types spit back out a fiery dance. Now, of course, just because abilities might be signature doesn't make them desirable. I wouldn't wish even my least favorite Pokémon to get saddled with Defeatist as an ability. 
or even stall, which for some reason is stuck only slowing down Sableye after all these years. But one that many people seem to think is terrible is Normalize. However, this signature ability of the Delcaddy line can be better than you might expect. This ability makes every move the Pokémon has into a normal type attack. So normal type flamethrower, normal type leaf storm, all of it. So yes, while ghosts would be a big problem for you, you could use ordinarily resisted types and hit a full power thunderbolt on an electric type. And really, there are plenty of other very normal type Pokémon out there that could apply this power of simplifying all of their moves. Maybe like Stuffle or even Lillipup, making all their moves the same. But a less controversial ability would be Dazzling. This is currently signature on Bruxish of all things, and it prevents advanced priority moves. So this trick could see a lot more use, and the name allows it to be far more applicable than, say, Queenly Majesty that does the same thing. Dazzling refers to the bright, distracting colors on this crazed fish, so other impressively adorned Pokémon could have this, such as Galarian Rapidash or maybe even Ho-Oh. But really, I feel that the best fit would probably be with the likes of Carbink, whose gemstone body definitely qualifies as Dazzling, and it might even give some people more of a reason to use this fairy pebble at all. The new Regis from Galar got the appropriate abilities of Transistor and Dragon's Maw, which boosts attack from their types 50%. Now even if the names are a little unorthodox, they could easily be spread to other Pokémon of those types, however I'm not sure that they should. These abilities effectively add extra stab power behind what they get naturally anyway. So I think that they should go to other kinds of Pokémon. Because, you see, these abilities are identical in function to one that you likely already know in Steelworker. This is another signature ability that basically lets Delmise be a Steel-type too. Now, I do think Steelworker could apply to other non-Steel-types out there, but the Gen 8 variants could as well on Pokémon that rely on said coverage and I do have a feeling that we'll be seeing abilities for this in every type eventually. One of the best overall abilities to me is Stamina. It makes Mudsdale even tougher when every time a foe makes contact, its defense goes up. One poorly judged double slap could leave your defense nearly maxed out. Some might say that it's too much power to share, but it's just too enticing not to try. So I would say options such as Arcanine or even Lapras would work, just other Pokémon that are built for long journeys, requiring the stamina necessary to travel so far. I also find it fairly ridiculous that the signature ability Gale Wings is still only on the Fletchling line. I get that it might have been deemed too powerful at one point, but then they gave it a huge nerf only giving priority to flying moves at full health. And there's really nothing in the description to prevent other flying types from getting it. I mean, other than the implied speed, but surely you could still have it work on a Swellow, who's only one point slower than Talonflame, or even Crobat, who is faster. Nothing says that it's gotta be Bird Wings, so let's give more Pokémon a chance to soar with this ability. And there's even more with the likes of Merciless. Giving critical hits against targets that are poisoned works perfectly well on Marini, but there have got to be other poison types that are sufficiently malicious to the point that they would be that cold-hearted. Personally, I think Merciless would work pretty great on Surviper, but my main recommendation would be for Gengar. Not only is this Spectre spiteful enough to pull off that vile moniker, but really Gengar has very little that seems to make it poison in the first place. So if it got an ability to highlight that, it might actually make sense after all this time. Besides, they already got rid of its levitate, so it might as well have something useful. Another phenomenal signature ability to me is Long Reach, which is the hidden ability of the Decidueye family. It makes sense why an archer would have some range, but really the ability prevents physical contact moves from actually touching the foe. So you don't have to worry about any rocky helmet or static or anything like that. Now, I know the protective pads item fills that same role, so any Pokémon could have this feature, but the ability frees up your item slot. So I would say the best candidates would be some psychic types that have higher physical attack, so they can use their mental powers to shield them as they make contact with the target. I feel like that makes as much sense as a bow and arrow affecting everything you do. 
And really, you could probably find this in a lot of other abilities, like Mirror Armor, that's only on Corviknight, which uses its shiny metal exterior to reflect back any stat lowering. But there's nothing here that would exclude any other steel types, so really any Pokémon that is adequately chromed out should qualify for gaining this signature, like Shield On or even Skarmory if you feel like it has to be on another bird for some reason. The last really egregious ability that's still signature to me is Pure Power. This is exclusive to the Metajam line, but the thing is, it doesn't really matter because the ability is duplicated exactly with huge power. The names aren't even really that different, so I don't know why they needed two separate abilities that both double the attack set. Okay, in Japan, pure power is called Yoga Power, so I get why that doesn't fit a ton of other Pokémon. There are probably some other fighting types that could pull it off somehow. But really my gripe is why they needed two separate abilities that did the exact same thing, created at the exact same time. Metachim would definitely have fit into the other Japanese name of Muscle Man, so I guess this is one that I'm advocating for a merger and just make these identical abilities shared across all the Pokémon that have them and actually remove a signature ability from the games. There are plenty of signature abilities that could be adopted by other Pokémon out there, but the ones that I've outlined are standouts as scratching your head for why the people in charge have been so stingy with them despite having ample opportunity to share the wealth over the years. Which signature ability do you think should be shared? Let me know down in the comments. Also be sure to leave a like, share this video, and subscribe so that you too can become an Imperial today. And we'll see you around next time!